Alright, how's everyone doing on the stream tonight? Now we've got a needing here in the voice chat. Looks like Ryder's also here. You flying along, Ryder? Yeah, I just woke up 30 minutes ago. Bruh. What, what time zone do you live in? Central. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Anidin's been awake a long ass time. It's 2.30 in the morning for him. <laughs> I woke up at 7? Huh. Or 8? AM or PM? AM. Jeez. And you're still here. <laughs> yeah, am I Bro, does your, does your sleep schedule just revolve around the stream? Yes. <laughs> I don't know oh why. God, I'm taking bro. US time now. Oh my god. No, it's not even US time, because you still you still go to sleep when I'm awake and all that. Oh yeah. Well, I don't even have my track IR little thing on. So let's do that. A1. Alright, so on today's flight we're going from Denver to Minneapolis International. You know, Denver being one of the big airports in the US, and also Minneapolis too, technically. I haven't even looked at the route yet for today. Let's let's go plug this into Sky Vector. Oh god damn, I fucking hate this route. I've done it before. Why do you hate it? It was so confusing when I did it first because, like, skill issue. I mean, I don't. <laughs> yes. Just read the chart. It's Damn pretty simple. You, you hold altitudes here. You you do speeds there. You. Well, the thing is, this was this was the flight plan I exactly had my first IFR in an airliner. That's your problem, not me. And, uh, I'd bro, you wanna know my first. Probably, probably airline flight. It was probably something fucking short, less than a hundred miles. I mean, right. I flew an A320 uh, VFR multiple times. Hmm. Anyways, this is our route, right? Chewy, doesn't chewy exist. whatever. Uh -oh. What do you mean, Chewy doesn't exist? Your air axe cycles is busted? Maybe. I haven't updated it yet. You should do that. <laughs> Safe flight from the grounded man, thanks, power company. Yeah, I saw, like, your whole part of the United States is just out. Oof. So apparently we're gonna be departing runway 8, that's fine. The only thing is, um... Was it... Oh wait, no, it was, uh, so there, there's a thing over here. You know, there was one time I was I was parked somewhere around here out of Denver, and then I taxied down Alpha Sierra, I think. Uh, about the time you get to the end of the terminal, before you hit hotel, there's a big old drop in the terrain for some reason. Like 10, fe 10 like 20 something. feet? Yeah, I know. And there's bumps all over this airport, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's because... I think there is payor scenery out there, but honestly, I don't fly this part of the U.S. enough to get that. Well, the paver scenery is the deluxe, or the premium version. Of no, it it's not. There's actual yes. scenery out there for it, I'm pretty sure. Because yeah. I have the premium deluxe edition and it still sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's if I get so my power hard, back on and you're around MSP, you might have a copter call sign out of Ortonville? Where's that? Ortonville, where, Ortonville. where the hell is that? Ortonville? Ortonville. Jeez. Where the heck is that? Is that somewhere close by? KVVV. It's a lot of V's. So over there. Oh, that's somewhat far. You know what you should do, Sky? You know, I've, I've done this before. I'll depart, like, home, I've, or depart St. Paul. You know, head a little bit out northeast or so. And then turn back around, get a Bravo transition. And you know, I've done it in a helicopter a couple times and in props. And then, you know, I'll go out here, go do whatever. Either land Flying Cloud or I'll go back across to St. Paul downtown. 
<laughs> Just, you know, annoying whoever's on center or approach at the time. I would do that if I know the person, though. Oh wait, no, I just, I realized you couldn't even see that. Is that the screen on the wrong thing? You know, just depart downtown, you know, go across, maybe land flying clouds, sometimes go back across. Yeah, bro, I'm one of those guys that I'll land like Blaine or Crystal or something just for a different experience, you know? <laughs> or even, I've, I've gone over to uh, South St. Paul a couple times, right there. I've done, I've landed Hello. Air Lake, I've landed whatever the fuck that one is, Stanton. I've landed Elmo. Lake Elmo right there. It is the same place I got my Cessna 310 out of for on air. Okay. And let's see here. I think of Okay, I don't care. I think I've done Force Lake. I've done these three Echo Class Echo air airports. I've I've been to a lot of places around Minneapolis, just you know, middle of the night and all that. Hortonville is a secret treasure trove. Oh, really? Anyways, I should start getting the plane together, especially because you know, if you, any of you guys saw that notification for the stream, boarding time is uh, uh, what was it again? Twelve forty-five. We have four minutes. <laughs> And again, that doesn't mean people are going to be on here right at that time. Oh, my sound's not on. There it is. We have that on. The battery, standby. Uh, emergency power. Electric pumps. Air conditioning. Although right now, I think it's just a fan. Yaw dampener, align those. Actually, yaw dampener doesn't gonna work yet. Uh, make sure logo lights are on, that's on steady. Alright, sorry, I can't stay and lurk. My phone will die if you do, rip. Bro, this is why around my house, well, and because of times when we've gone traveling before, we have a whole bunch of those portable batteries just around. I might need to charge mine, too. I back all my power returns. Oh, rip. That sucks. Why is this so dark? Yeah, I don't know why that's dark. FS actions, all the stuff. AC. Fuel truck. Uh... Not stairs. Don't go that. You can hear it beeping out there. Doors. Open the door. And then we'll request the loaders at least. And then I gotta go figure out over on Simbrief. Oh, actually, I just have to hit generate. There we go. View PDF. We'll go download that. If you guys didn't know, Needing's actually streaming his whole thing right here. Let's, let's head over there and see if he butters it. <laughs> Alright, we got that pre file. Simmer Tower. Oh my god. Bro, come on, what are you doing? They're like the same fucking button. It sucks. Well, then you gotta figure your shit out. Three five. Nine. We'll do three five. All right, we're going to remove that. Plug in the usual thing over here. Operated by the pilot club. Put the Twitch I in there. Forgot. I'm not going to put that in my remarks. Why? I was just... I've already filed it and I don't want to refile. Mm. Tower's probably already modified it too. Yep. I've already talked to them. 
Alright, so over here, I need... 17,400 pounds of fuel. 17,400. Start the fueling. Let's go, I got my... Oh, come on, really? I have to take off 15 minutes after the briefing, what the hell? Why? I don't know the PDC and they said scheduled departure time 1914 when I put mine as 1900 because I'm going to take off before the TPC guys. I don't know. It's probably an auto-filled thing. A, lo a few different Arctics I know do that. It's just whatever time you got your PDC plus like 20-30 minutes or something. Packs. Got... 157. And then car uh, cargo 8.6, so 4.3 either side. I mean, theoretically, there's probably a percentage you put on each side. God, invalid entry. 3 4 left? What? What do you mean? He gave me 3 4 left. And? Got a problem with that? Surprise. Why are you surprised? Just Why? I mean, it is What's the reasoning? But... You gotta have reasoning, bro. I don't know if you just gave it to me. Then why are you surprised? If you didn't even have anything you were thinking about before. Oh my god, this is the wrong livery. I did the Boeing livery. Sucks for you. An idiot. So weather Minneapolis, we've got zero three zero with one two gusting one seven. Zero three zero with So that's like from this direction kinda. So yeah, I mean I guess the three fours will be fine. kind of funny it's runway 34 but it the runway heading is 353 <laughs> yeah I'm at that uh, water or that uh, ice pad or whatever right there next to it I don't know what you're talking about Nor I'm not at care. the gates sounds like a you issue all right we'll go over menu Start actually setting up the plane. Well, actually, after I get all the files set, where's the thing? Am I dumb? Right here. And they went to the right spot. We're good. Route Denver. to MSP. Activate, execute, we got the stuff. Grab the numbers. I should probably call it for some clearance here. I'm about to switch back Oh, I'm not even connected to the network. That'd be a good idea to do. We'll see if someone is like right next to me. Dang it, I'm inside someone. <sighs> is my passengers done loading at least? Figure it out here. We'll, we'll scoot over. Close enough. <laughs> kind of 
kind of get disconnected over there. I mean, it still it still thinks they're boarding. That's good. All right, so performance. Load, execute. And we can put the average winds in, which are 286 at 199, are not too bad. Put that up there. And then this will fill out in a bit. I'm not gonna do the arrival and departure yet because we'll, we need to get our clearance first. Tower is 132.35. You can see I'm turning the knob down there, just with physical things. There we go. All right, the ATIS, departure ATIS, information to whiskey. Where's my notebook? Oh, I see it over here. So, information, Four, where is it again? Uh, Southwest 1664, Denver Tower, hello, the wind 0 t 0 one 2 runway 35 left, play light. So, information about Whiskey. Southwest 1664. You know, some people's favorite drink. Denver Tower, Delta 4116, ready for 3018. And... Departing Delta, runways eight, runway eight taxi via Sierra, Mike. two five three Bravo, four Sierra, left. To, uh, eight, Delta Departing two five. Denver Tower, hello. Oh wait, American no, that's 32, the ones that go outbound to the airport. Of okay, that makes sense. Record thirty two forty Denver Tower, hello, cleared. Actually, stand by one. <laughs> Oof. Number 16 Alpha Whiskey, ready taxi with information whiskey. Hmm. Copy, clear down. American 32 you're cleared to the Minneapolis International Airport. 2 1 departure, then as filed. Climb via the SID. Departure is offline, clock 2705. Alright, clear to Minneapolis, Chewy 1 departure, then it's filed. We'll climb via the street. Chewy 1, no is that, uh. Two walk 2705. That what everyone's going for? Second 3240 degree back, correct. Expect 34 left for departure. Advise ID 4 push back. Information whiskey's current. Yeah, Chewy. Right, 34 left, let's you know already. 3240. Number 6295, whiskey, runway 34 left. Taxi via Gulf. Or correction, taxi via, uh, let's see here, Bravo November, Foxtrot, whiskey alpha. Oh, November. 34 left via uh, Bravo November Foxtrot Whiskey Alpha 95 Whiskey. Bravo November. Southwest 1664 is going around. Southwest 1664, Roger. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 10,000. Say reason for the GARAM when able. <laughs> runway heading uh, 10,000 and be aware too fast on our approach to Southwest 1664. <laughs> that sounds like a pilot issue there. <sighs> you know. All right, so we are at Denver. Denver Tower Pilot Club, 341. I offered a Minneapolis with whiskey. Pilot Club, 341, Denver Tower, hello. Clip to the Minneapolis International Airport. Chewy one departure, then as filed. Climb via visit. Departures offline, squawk 7443. Okay, go to Minneapolis, Chewy one as filed. Climb via SID, 7443, Pilot Club, 341. Five up three forty one. Read back. Correct. Expect three four left for departure. Advise ready for pushback. Information whiskey's current. Three four left. Uh, we'll advise. Pelican three forty one. 
Southwest 1664 resequence is going to be at your discretion. Uh, for exchange approved, talk to you soon. Hey, Iowa Scotsman, how you doing? Welcome on in. Southwest 1664. Alright, so uh, we gotta go up top. Nav on both of those. God dampener, we got some fuel in. Yet. Yes, we do. Release. Still bordering passengers. Cargo's fine though, we'll go. Start releasing all that. I did it in the wrong order, dang it. That sucks. Okay, our squawk 7443. There's that, that's put in. And then we know our departure now, Chewy 1. I mean, of course we knew it before, but you, know, you never know if they're going to change it. Chewy 1, and he said uh, 3 4 left. So, next page. 3 4 left. Papa 650, Denver Tower, hello, the wind 0 2 0 at 1 2, gust 1 7, runway 3 4 And we'll go back for the arrival, which is. The Torgi 3 Tower, Swing. Good morning, Vision Jet 1, 7 Alpha Whiskey at the GA ramp with Whiskey ready to copy IFR to Ruby Valley Field. Torgi 3, what is, what is uh, what are they saying? Their expected runway should be there. 12 right. So Torgi 3 for 12. Swain. Number 1, 7 Alpha Whiskey, I'm requesting. I'll, I'll wait for the ILS thing though. There we go, that's in. Come over into here, flaps will be five for takeoff. Get all the speeds. And the CG, we've got uh, 5.26 on the trim. So, close enough. Then I think we're about good. Just gotta manage the uh, ground, the stuff on the ground, which those are still working on doing their thing. We'll get the one of the little things turned on. Start the APU. Going up to thirty-five thousand feet, or thirty, yeah, thirty-five. Denver Tower, good afternoon. Make Michael sure on that. With whiskey, yeah. IFR to Minneapolis. 35. Pipe up 26 on request number 2, stand by. Right to thanks. And our landing altitude, so the altitude over at Minneapolis. We've got up here in the corner, 842. So we'll plug that in. Of course, you always want to round up on that number. Number one, seven alpha whiskey clearance available. It's going to be a full route clearance. Advise ready to copy. Oof. <laughs> God, I feel bad for that guy. Oh boy, ready to copy. Uh, Number one, seven alpha whiskey cleared to Ruby Valley via the Darth One departure uh, to the Darth intersection. We'll That's Delta Delta Romeo. Let's try go over for the briefing. Transition on the sit there. Direct to the Dillon VOR. That's Delta Lima November. Then direct. Climb via the sit. Departures offline. What's up, Steven? All right, there we go. Uh, what was the altimeter? I didn't write that down. He's cleared to Ruby Valley via Darth. Three days one. in a row. Three defectors, Darth. Three zero one eight. Then the uh, Dylan VOR Delta Lima November. Then direct climb by the oh, that's too fast. Uh, departs offline at two seven five one in the box for seven alpha. Three zero one eight. Number one seven alpha whiskey. So it's going to be the Darth one uh, departure. Matches Darth, there. Then direct the Dylan matches VOR, over then there. Filed as narrator vectors at the pilot nav sit. Uh, the rest of your back correct. Pilot nav sit. Oh, because it's uh, off and the runway. Primary right. forty two eleven heavy with whiskey uh, north parking one ready for taxi thirty uh, three left. Primary 4211 heavy, you just heard me issue an, uh, clearance to an aircraft, stand by. Ha! Ha! He got told right, on there. Alright, 7-0 whiskey's clear grid, uh, Ruby Valley via Darth 1, Darth. Direct Dylan then as filed, climb by the SID, 2751 in the box, and you said departures offline. 7 off whiskey. Number one seven alpha whiskey read back, correct? Expect runway 35 left for departure, advise ready for taxi. 230. 
Got right, flight we'll directors on. And we've got whiskey. We'll advise one ready to taxi. Shutting off whiskey. Thank you. Uh, runway I'm heading. So you said 3 4 left. Three, four that left. is. Fox trot. 3 alpha. 5 uh, 3. Pseudo Fox trot. Whiskey Alpha for uh, 34 left. Prime Air 4211 heavy. Thanks. Southwest 6 6 B. Welcome to Denver. That's the right wood able. And are you parked at the Charlie Terminal? Yeah, we're going uh, to Charlie Southwest 660, sounds like a plane taxi to parking via Foxtrot, Charlie Sierra. I think I'm about ready to go. But you know, APU has started, so we'll go. Number 9 or 2, or Chris, number 10, you're ready to go. There. Southwest whiskey negative, we have a smaller truck. Alright folks, I'm back, sorry. Um, go over to Admin Notes real quick, and then we'll get everybody out of here. Delta 4116, wind 0 at 1-2, got 1-7, Nardak, kidding, runway 8, clear for takeoff. So, uh, it looks like everybody has made their name in here, the, uh, their first or last name and their call sign, so we're all good there. Uh, make sure you're onboarded and have read the, uh, about and SOP pages. Very important, some of the club rules. Um, when filing your flight on VATSIM, try and remember to put, uh, operated by the pilot club in the VATSIM remarks. It gets us notoriety. Uh... <laughs> Push to talk is uh, already mandatory now, so we don't have to talk about that. Sterile cockpit under 10,000 feet, both on departure and arrival. Uh, so we try to keep that pretty standard. Um, feel free to come in, chat it up, and cruise. Uh, to the points, any call sign that you fly with, you're more than welcome to fly. Uh, you'll get 250 points for that, and 500 points if you have the TPC call sign. Little bonus. Uh, the briefings. Uh, we try to keep it professional on the network um, as best as possible. Don't be rude. We uh, a good rule of thumb is to wait about three or five seconds uh, when switching frequencies, so you don't, you're not stepping on anybody or coming in between a previous direction given to another pilot. Over to the departure. Two E one. Okay. Um, I've heard of different runways being assigned. Does anybody... I didn't get my clearance yet. Does anybody know what the bulk of the runway is? I was given 3-4 left. Yeah, me as well. I got 3-5 I got left. Okay, so 3-4 left. I'm going to climb on the heading of 3-5-3 three, three, to 5,934 feet. Then... Uh, we're direct to cross Kazi or Kaz at or below 10,000 feet. It's true I'm sorry, right. Nikita. I'm reading the wrong one. Nikita at or below 10,000. Then 025 to cross Yokes at or above 17,000. Our nav departure, so it's it's pretty easy just to follow all the flight path, uh, paths. Um, Let's see. Uh, speed restriction, uh, accelerate to 250 knots. And then at 10,000, uh, at least 250 or greater. Actually. Departure is offline, so we're going to be with Tower. I'm hoping Center gets on for us. Um, Minneapolis said they'd be there for us, so <laughs> cross our fingers. Uh, any other questions? If not, we could just push back and get to flying. Cool, see you there. All right, time to go. Gotta unmute the ATC audio now. 510 requesting via 4 to Minneapolis. I have a 510 via just heard me do an aircraft. A third correction of clearance to an aircraft. Please pay attention to the frequency. It's busy. Stand by. Break. Walkers. 3265. <laughs> Go ahead with your reaction. It's really getting on that guy. Uh, Oof. Oof. Oh, you love it. Heavy. Reback, correct. Expect for my 8 for departure. Advise. Ready Look for there. Doors Look closed. Who is looking for VFR to Mini? I got 510. I have a 510 Roger, you're cleared out of the Denver class Bravo airspace, maintaining BFR at or below 8,500. Departures offline, squawk 1450. 
Could Gotta wait for this guy. Bravo airspace. Uh, maintain VO4 at or below 8,500. Support your offline. Squawk 1450 for Pack Up 510. Pack Up 510, read back track. I'm pretty sure Pack we can push for taxi. anytime we want. Back to that, uh, Roger, Pack Up 510. Because there's this line right here showing that this is a non-movement area. And then there's two taxiways in the middle, but ATC said call for push and start. Okay. You have to call. Well, I know he said to call, but I'm still looking at that like it should be pilot discretion. And sleeveless, yeah, fly airliners. Oh my, things not even connected. Up here. Three seconds here. Where's the thing? Oh my god. two at once. Just right, expecting people to figure it out. <laughs> you both keyed up exactly <laughs> at the same time again. American 3240, say again. Oh, sorry about that. We're ready for push. <laughs> American 3240, Roger. Push back proof. Push straight back to the first line. If I for the E4 taxi, verify squawking normal. Oh gosh, that's funny. Roger, pick the squawk. Oh, you don't want to write back. 3240. Dang it, it's not showing my plane on the map. What the hell? Uh, November 6 to 9 or 5 Whiskey, sorry about that. Frequency change approval, we'll see ya. Frequency change approval, see ya. 9 or 5 Whiskey. Delta 4116, frequency change approval, we'll see ya. Why does he do the cat That's thing, bro? Again. So dumb. Alright, now we're good. Key line 4711 on request, standby. Hydrate, gosh, bro. Hey, hey Cam, how you doing? Thing. Every time, see, because there's a bunch of condensation on the side of that cup, every time I take a drink, I get, I get wet. I could not need any CMI. Great, how are you doing? Good, just about to push back. Here we got a call for pushback. I'm trying to figure out what spot I'm at, though. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see here. Uh, I don't think we're. Oh, we are at Concourse A. No, 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 we're not. We're not Concourse A. We're B. Middle of the airport. And I then. Know. We're like somewhere in here. Is there any spot somewhere? Middle am I? One, two, three, four. We're number five. One, two, three, four, five. We're at Bravo 47? Yeah, that makes sense. Southwest 1664, the wind is 010 at 8, that's 1 8, runway 35 left, clearly. Since we're in Denver, it has to stop. Who else calling for taxi? I won't Vision fly jets up. until the KC-10, DC-10 releases. I'll stick my prop uh, turbo to the wind. Oh, right. there's the, a vision uh, pilot? That's passing off your right and say it. Hey, firm, right in front of us. Number one, seven, Alpha Whiskey, Roger. Three, five, left, follow that traffic. Three, five, left, follow the traffic. Seven, off Whiskey. Oh, there's Denver departure now. So we'll put 120.35. And stand by. You're clear to the Pierre Regional Airport via the Chile One departure. Uh, Chile transition direct the Pierre VOR. That's Papa into India Romeo, then direct. Climb via the SID. Departure. This dude's doing pretty good though. Frequency 120.35, squawk 0647. Kind of sitting here just burning fuel. Alright, uh, Key Line 4711, clear to Chile. Or, uh, I'm stacked clear to Chile. Clear to Pierre Regional, Chile One, Chile, then direct. I'm not missing anything. Still in 4711, read back, Top. Uh, uh, you can expect from my 3 4 left for departure. Advise any for pushback information, X ray current. I'm good. I think we're good. Attention all aircraft on frequency coordination in progress. So you're getting a ground controller. Stand by, everybody. Yay, ground! I wonder what that ground frequency is gonna be. Uh, there's two ground controllers. Oh no, never mind, just one. Nope, nope. There's, there's two. 
One of them, for some reason, is one of those higher frequency things. I don't know how those work, really. How many people are on the ground? We've got we've got a whole twenty one departures right now. QM forty seven eleven, stand by. So let's see how many are pilot club? He's technically ten Oh, Jude is here. Going to Aspen. at the ramp. If you haven't pushed back, or uh, correction, if uh, if you're not moving currently, then you can contact Denver Ground on 121.85, All right. Next up, up to with me, Pilot Club 142. You're gonna stay with me. Everybody else can go over to uh, Denver Ground and uh, Primary 4211. Have a year with me too. What was it? 12185. Southwest 1664, welcome to Denver, ground 0 0.85. 0 0.85, uh, Southwest 1664, sir. There we go. And Tower Primary 4211, heavy. Why am I still hearing Tower? We're left ready to go. Good afternoon, uh, Denver, ground. Primary 4211, heavy. As you probably noticed, I just logged in and there are 23 aircraft here, so, uh, I appreciate your patience while I try and, uh, get everybody moving as quickly as I can. Uh, of course 989 not. at Denver Ground. Um, I believe you called for taxi. Um, I am assuming that you have the uh, runway 34 three, three, left. Is that correct? Yeah, I got 34 left. 989. So, new eight is X ray. Runway 34 left, taxi via Bravo November. Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. 3016, that changed. And of course, the runways didn't. Key line 4711. Uh, Endeavor ground, pilot cup tree 41, spot Bravo 47, uh, push of X ray. The request to push back? What? Yep, we're for uh, Key line 4711. Uh, key line 4711, push back is approved, push straight back to the first line. Confirm, confirm you are squawking 0647 and advise rate for taxi. <laughs> Hello. I don't think we... I don't think I'll be able to push because the uh, south right, is American here. American 3240, stand by. American 3240, we're getting runway 34 left. Yep, AFM, 3240. Uh, American 3240, Holy blocks, yep. Alpha November, Fox Trot, Alpha, Holtrot, Fox Trot. At 34 left by Alpha November, Fox you're, you're 18. Is that you right there next and to me? Last aircraft calling uh, along with the American say again, please. Pilot Club 328 at gate Charlie 40 looking for push. Pilot Club 328 underground push back approved. Push straight is that back you? No, that's advisor. not. You're 1822. Advisor, for taxi, Pilot Club 328. Where are you at? Denver ground, Denver ground. Three, right uh, there. All right. Five club eight twenty three clearance on request number one. We tell you guys to push uh, straight back so you can push back as well without the, uh, hitting each other. Ah, okay. I just haven't seen that one before. Bro, so many people stepping over each other. Walker 2365, was that a call for push? Yes, sir. Tail left to right, just straight. Okay. Walker 2365, push back approved, push straight back to the first line, advisor to protect. Yeah, But then the thing is, it's a little difficult to, like, turn out. I mean, I guess I would be turning, uh, to the left. He would be turning to the right, maybe. Bravo 8, the uh, Fox Trot. Bravo Sierra. 
something like that. It's something like that, it's all I know. X right now. Uh, runway 34 left, taxi via Bravo November, Fox Trot, Whiskey Alpha. Bravo November, Fox Trot, Whiskey Alpha. American 3240, continue taxi. Roger, continue taxi. I don't think that's, cre that's correct phraseology, but okay. Pretty sure it's continue taxi via whatever taxiway. Five fifteen. Uh, clearance over question number three, stand by. Uh, key line 4711, confirm Squawky normal, that is Squawky mode Charlie, please. Oh, gee. Scratch the mic. Pilot Club 9901, push back approved, push straight back to the first line, advise Rick for tech. Never ground, pilot come tree 41, spot Bravo 47, X ray, uh, right crest push. <laughs> Maybe. Pilot Club 341, push back approved, push straight back to first line, advise ready for tax. Straight back, first line, advise taxi, pilot come tree 41. Never ground, number 403, Alpha Lima, request Alpha 2, right? Yeah, you know, I should have already set this up. I mean, we'll just go, it's, it's straight back, we'll go manual. Not releasing the parking brake just yet, though. November 403, Alpha, Lima, uh, clear with summer request number 5, stand by. Number 5, oof. Should have called up earlier. Pilot Club 989, uh, Sergeant Lake, contact Denver Tower 132.35 of your flight. I'll just take it real slow. So we got packs come off. And that engine. Denver ground pilot club 328 is ready to taxi runway. The tug ain't exactly helping though. Key line 4711 runway 34 left taxi via Bravo November uh, Foxtrot Whiskey Alpha. American 3240, contact Denver Tower 132.35. Right. First engine starting. We'll get some sound here for the engine start. Pilot Club 328, uh, runway. Pilot Club 328, runway 34 left after the key line Embraer. Uh, which should pass uh, by you on your left. After that aircraft, runway 34 left, taxi to the uh, Bravo November, Fox Trot, Whiskey Alpha. There it goes. After the Embraer, uh, taxi to the 34 left, the uh, Bravo November, Fox Trot, Whiskey Alpha, Highway 1128. Here's the ground, the uh, Pilot Club 510, we're going to be a to uh, Minneapolis. I wonder what aircraft he's actually in. And then I'll stop it right there. Number six. Oof. And ground southwest 1822 with information. That's where I fought in Minneapolis. Southwest 1822. Uh, Denver ground. Clearance on request number seven. Stand by. Pilot Club 823, Quinn is available, advisor is copy. Ready copy, uh, Pilot He was really trying to get a game. Clear to Minneapolis and Paul International Airport, 281 departure, then it's filed upon the assisted departure. He is on 120.35, walk 2707. Alright, so we have the flaps. 
That is. Uh, clear Minneapolis, uh, 212 is filed via SID, uh, 120.35 departure and squawk 2707 to private the 23. United 624, hold short, uh, Charlie Sierra, hold short, hold position please, United 624. Alright, so we're ready to go. That guy went uh, well, past the line. Correct. Inspector runway 34 left, advise, ready for pushback. I mean, I don't know. Pilot Club 826, runway 34 left, taxi to be uh, Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, full short of Foxtrot. Alright, 34 left, Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, short of Foxtrot. There's so many people here, bro. Holy. I know the engines have started. We'll turn this down a little bit. Pilot Club 9901, runway 34 left. Taxi V, uh, Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, hold short, Foxtrot. Taxi 34 left by Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, hold short. Damn, I was just about to hit the button. Uh, you're going to follow the company 737 uh, on Bravo November. Not a problem. We'll follow uh, United 624, continue taxi. Denver ground, pilot up tree, 41 spot, Bravo 47, uh, taxi, runway tree, 4 left. Uh, pilot club 341, uh, hold position for traffic. Hold position, tree 41. Of course, I'm not too surprised there. I don't know what he's, what he's doing. He's just sitting there. I'm burning fuel, bro. Call Minneapolis International Airport via the 21 departure, then as file. Climb via the SID. Departure will be on 120.35 and clock 3372. Come on, bro. Here, you guys, oh, wait, I'm close to talk. You, got, you guys struggling to get off the ground? Well, good for you. You left early. You left early. He left 47 contact number tower 132.35, have good flight. Pilot Club 328, uh, looks like you missed your right turn there. You can go ahead and uh, make a right right there, cut through the IC ice pad, uh, and then follow the traffic there to 341. Roger, sorry about that, Pilot Club 328. Yes. No problem, sir, happens all the time. Can I go now? Also, also why is the livery... Southwest 1981, clearance yeah, available, advise ready to copy. Why is what? Delivery on the same frequency. Look at your view, pilot. Uh, delivery's listening in right now, I guess. Southwest 1981, never mind, you already have your clearance. I mean, they'll probably switch it over in a second. I guess, unless you did pilot the wrong thing. I don't clearance know. available, advisory to copy. I got it, Pilot Club 15. Pilot Club 15 cleared to Minneapolis State Paul International Airport via the Chewy One departure, then as filed. Climb via the SID. Departure is on 120.35 and squawk 3763. Bro, all the controls came Parker on like a real late. The, uh, International Chewy One Chewy departure, climb via SID. Departure 2035, squawk 3763, Pilot Club 15. Pilot Club 15, read back correct. Expect runway 34 left, advise ready for forward pushback. Exit right for push right now, Pilot Club 15. He, he probably forgot uh, about me. 15. Sorry, I want to make sure I heard that right. Did you say you're ready for push now, or you will call when ready? Uh, ready now, Pilot Club 15. Uh, okay, Pilot Club 15, uh, confirm. 
Nah. Not appropriate, bro. Especially, cause, you know, they're not gonna know who you're, who you're, ta who they're talking to. Five up three twenty eight. Contact upper tower one three two point three five. Have a good flight. Over huh? the tower, pilot up three twenty eight. Yeah, I saw that, Sky. Denver ground. Uh, confirmed squawking 3372. Push back approved. Push back the first line. Advise ready for taxi. 7443. That's what I got. Add check. November 403 Alpha Lima. Clearance available. Advise ready to copy. Bruh, I'm sitting here waiting for push and he's giving clearance. Alpha Lima. Or not push. November 403 Alpha Lima. You're cleared to Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport via the Chewy 1 departure. Then add file. Climb via the SID. Departure is on 120.35. Squawk 2733. We have cleared to Minneapolis. Chewy 1 departure. Then add file. Uh, departure frequency 1205. Squawking 2733. Alpha Lima. November 403 Alpha Lima. Read back correct. Expect runway 34 left, advised, ready for pushback. Bro, we're sitting here just wasting fuel. Well, we are ready to pack the number four zero three. Oh, he's, is he lagging or is that me? It's lagging. Oof. That, that would suck. Both ground went offline right now. Oof. At least there's delivery. Well. This has been crazy so far. It's because around now, his stuff messed up. Ground just went silent. That's not good. Probably coordinating. No, he just like stopped all of a sudden. So how's been sitting back in the cockpit? What do you mean how's been sitting they back? They're changing the frequency. No, I don't know. Oh yeah, that ground and delivery they changed. They switched. What do you mean they changed. They switched. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. Ground's always been the same frequency. One, two, one, eight, five. No, I'm saying they, uh, like, wait. You're saying there's a delivery now? All aircraft standby headset is. issue. Oof. Sucks. Oof. Perfect timing for that. I know the star controller. Mm. He's always online over here when I come gliding. Mm. I go by Colorado. Because there's a mountain west of the airport that's really good. Yeah, that's called the Rocky Mountain. Yes. Yeah. That's, you know, pretty obvious. I guess we just sit here in silence, waiting for the controller to come back. Rest in peace, ground. My rudder's disconnected again. <laughs> One of his taxi knows. 
was funny. I just kind of went forward because I couldn't stop. <laughs> Everyone puts F. <laughs> to pay respects. <laughs> Also, I think delivery uh, delivery's on, now online too. Oof. Should have sent ground traffic to tower. Well, he didn't know. <laughs> oh, ground went off. Nineteen ninety-five to twenty twenty-three. What <laughs> was that? Was that controller born in ninety-five? Why is 95? I don't understand. Uh, was he born in 95? Because someone put it in the chat there? Should I just go to tower? Oh, the ground disappeared. Again, yeah. Tried to come back online, but then not really. Why you gotta tune this frequency just to put an F in? I don't know. I mean, I'm just bored as fuck because the center is it on. Well, that's a you problem. I'm going to tower. Also, Minneapolis is on. I look up to 28. I'm actually gonna monitor ground. And uh, Pilot Club 826, uh, stay by, I'll check for you. Okay, not a problem. I know I could get the guy in front of me to switch over if need be as well. Roger. Timber Tower, Pilot Club 823, uh, with X ray, request push. Hmm. They're trying to figure it out, it seems. Even even Tower doesn't know what's going on. Zero one, never ground you up. Hey, I'll get him. Oh. 9901, runway 34 left, back to be a Foxtrot with Alpha. 34 left by Foxtrot with Alpha. Oh. Towers on both frequencies. Uh, follow the company, 34 left. Walker, this is U65, Denver ground, you Kind of landing, 14s and 18s. Roger, contact uh, tower, rather. I guess uh, saw that. Sorry, you're already on my frequency. Sorry about that, but I'm cross-coupling with ground. Uh, let's see here. RNF kidding, runway 8, clear for takeoff. The wind 010 at 8, gust 18. Oh, yeah, what's our RNAV point? I'm already about to enter. Uh, uh, Nakata. Six, runway 34 left, taxi via Alpha November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. <laughs> Alpha November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, second 60. Grandpa Club, 15, right taxi, brought with 20. Pilot Club, 15, runway 34 left, taxi via Alpha November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. Crown's trying to figure out his stuff. Alright, taxi, 34 left, Alpha November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. We just got caught in the middle of it all, you know? Denver ground, pilot up tree, 41, spot bro, 47, taxi with x-ray. Denver ground, pilot up twenty one eleven 11 on request. Uh, they are having an issue with their headset. They'll be back shortly. Stand by. Break, who else was calling? Uh, pilot up tree, 41. Uh, pilot up tree, 41, say request. Uh, spot bro, 47, taxi with x-ray. Pilot Club 341, runway 34 left, taxi via Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. 34 left, uh, Bravo November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, Pilot Club 341. Sun Country 656, traffic ahead near right of Pilot Club. As uh, a side seven, note on the Arctic West Hyper CMP, there's Sun no Sun planned controllers. Sun Country 656, roger, follow that traffic, 35 left, stretch 34 left. We'll follow that traffic, uh -oh. 34 left. Didn't they say uh, Minneapolis was going to be on there? I don't know. Charlie Terminal. I've got 823 And Denver Ground, Pack with 510, ready for taxi at General Aviation with their information X ray. All aircraft on Denver Ground, stand by. <sighs> Not on the website, uh, okay.
All right, uh, attention all aircraft, Denver Ground's back. Sorry about that. My headset decided I wasn't allowed to talk anymore. I had to reboot the whole thing, so that was a big fat mess. Oof, that, that sucks. Uh, November 403 Alpha Lima, uh, the last transmission we had, uh, I had instructed you to expect runway 35 left. Let me know if you're ready for taxi. Never ground on 403 Alpha Lima, we are ready to taxi. November 403 Alpha Lima, runway 35 left, taxi via Mike Alpha. That's to be on Mike Alpha, no one pulled your three Alpha Lima. Never ground, Paco Bay 23, Charlie Terminal, ready for push. That was probably the worst time for that to happen. Push back approval, straight back to the first line, advise ready for taxi. Straight back, first line, uh, we'll advise for taxi, Paco Bay 23. Why did it say 9901, contact Denver Tower 132.35, have a good flight. Tower 3235, Paco Bay 23. Uh -huh. 26, contact Denver Tower 132.35. I got an flight. altitude uh, warning of 2,500. I don't know how when I'm at level 360. Bad piloting. And Pilot Club 510, no, uh, do I I'm, understand I'm correctly that you are heading for Minneapolis VFR today? I forgot to take off the cover. That's an A firm. All right, uh, Pilot Club 510, uh, expect nah, runway 35 left. Uh, are you ready for taxi? That is an A firm as well. Pilot Club 510, Oof, this uh, is the big the drop right here. That is just leaving the uh, signature parking area there. Have uh, fun. Follow him at 35 left via Mike. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Follow this launch to 35 left okay. via Mike Alpha for Pilot Club 510. Uh, any aircraft needing. Come on, come on. Clearance, uh, oh, we made it, barely. Well, I mean, what was I going to do there? Slow mode? No. Pilot Club 15, if you haven't already done so, contact Denver Tower 132.35, have a good flight. Denver Tower 32, Pilot Club 15, see you. 510, have fun taking four hours to get to MSP. Oh, pilot up 510. Yeah, that, that's like his thing. Up, oh, and now we have an upslope to do. Toga. Ah, dang it, I got caught on it. Up, oh, wait, no, no. I, I got over it. I don't know. Oh, he's on. Oh, you're on ground radar. Yeah. Uh, Pilot Club 2111, uh, you are free to start your engines uh, at your... This is why I don't fly out of Denver. You're ready to taxi, please. Because of crap like this. That's why I always park at a uh, non-movement area. I never park at the That terminals. was a non-movement area. Terminals are non-movement area, technically. Well, I don't park there. I park at like the, you know, those holding pads or whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. Mm, the de-icing pads. Yeah, somewhere. It's You're not supposed to park that. there. I'm not parking there. I'm spawning it. It's not the de-icing pads. It's the freaking. It's like you know when you have to walk out on the tarmac to get to the plane. Yeah, it's that. Bro, 510 does that all the time. Just VFR or wherever. Contact Denver Tower 132.35. Have a good flight. Contact Tower on 13235 and 403 Alpha Lima. Alright, and then we make the right here, Whiskey Alpha. Denver Ground Park Club 823, next ray ready to taxi 34 left. Pilot Club 823, Denver Ground, taxi to runway 34 left via Charlie November, Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha. How do you mess up an airport this bad, though? Charlie November, or Foxtrot, Whiskey Alpha, 34 left, Pilot Club 823. Yeah, I know. Pilot Club 823, where the heck parked there? Who the heck? That's what I was talking about. That's where I parked. I think that's like for. Pilot Club 510, contact number tower 132.35. Have a good point. 3235. See ya. 510 is ordering beer ahead of the pack, right? <laughs>
I mean, what the hell is... No, he's not. Or maybe he is? I don't know. He just got his power back. Endeavour ground southwest 1822 ready for a pushback on information that's right. By the way, on this runway, there's a huge bump about like three quarters of the way down. Hmm. I didn't hit, I mean, I did hit southwest it. Because I was so you're saying be off by then? Yeah. Be off. Straight back first line with Vaz with his back southwest 1822. I used the whole runway to take off. Hmm. The landing fees were too expensive, so. All right, so switching the tower. Sun country even an airline anymore? Uh, probably. Huh. One, three, two, three, five. We've got that. Never tower pilot up three forty one. Hold short three four left. Uh, three forty one. Hold short three four left. Three forty one. Left the Denver Arctic. Nice. Okay, so there's all that stuff. We are ready to go. There's a lot of altitude restrictions on this departure. I have 15 contact number departure, one, two, zero, point three five. Ready to departure. Number 403 off the Lima, the wind zero one zero at eight gust one eight. RNF Kaz from a three five left clear for takeoff. I only look at like on this take, please take off number 403 off the Lima. Look at that, her needs taken off before me. See, bro, I would have flown the longitude, but my longitude's not working right now. I don't know why. Wow, what, what's going on? I don't know. It just the engines don't start at all. No, even control E doesn't do anything. Like, I'll start, even the, I'll, I'll go start the APU. The ITT will go up and immediately go back down. Uh, I think it's because you have to let the engine fully die before you have to start it. Did you like try restarting it? Like, no, 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 even the APU I can't start. Oh. Yeah. And you kind of need so the I APU to start a, the engines. I had a, I had a similar problem on a jet, but it was because the starter wasn't working. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like Nick Knack 113, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. And type of, uh, since the tower, type of 510, short, three, five, left. Type of 510, Denver tower, hold short, only three, five, left, landing traffic. Bro, all these freaking Here, holes short, and five, five, left. random okay. crap around the airport. Maybe 1423, Denver tower. I think Denver has a Illuminati hub underneath it. Who knows? Alright. It's not auto, so it's gotta be on. Number 403 Alpha Lima, contact number departure 120.35. Contact approach on 1203, find info 03 Alpha Lima. There's a guy departing Glad Louisville from Minneapolis named Bryce Littlejohn. Oh, let me make sure I have that. I have left 341, runway 3 for left, land for me. 3 for left, land for me, pilot 41. I'll wait for him to start rolling. He's good. Alright. And did the full throttle check, there was no beeping, so we're set for takeoff. I'm gonna do a static takeoff here. I just gotta bust the throttles. 
Well, I'm doing static takeoff, so that way the engines spool up and then I start rolling. Why is your... Why is the ground so bright? Uh, I mean, it's probably the, the taxiway runway texture thing I have. I have it too. Never tower, pack love, There's a bunch of different settings yeah, you do with it. Left short of it only uh, asks you when you well. install it, which ones you want. Sun Country 656, contact Denver Departure 120.35, right, have a safe flight. I have Enchanted Runway at 5. That's, yeah. that's not the same one. One's Payware. Maybe 1423, welcome to Denver. Exit left when able, contact ground 121.85. You know, it also, it also it also adds all the all the rubber on the runway there. I need to get rid of GSX. I don't even use it, and it keeps screwing up all my scenery. Really? Yeah, because like. Nakata tree for left over takeoff. Pilot of tree forty one. That shouldn't be a thing. Okay. Pilot Club, 2111, Auto throttle, toga. And we're good to go. Did you really click that button? What do you mean? The toga button? The toga button? You're yeah. supposed to. I just kind of jammed the throttle to that. Well, then you're going too fast, too high on the throttle. But I'm going toga. That's not toga. Toga's lower than max throttle. Yeah, 1669, visual 35, right? Maybe 1669, never tower low. The wind's 010 at 8, goes 18, runway 35, right? Clearly. That max throttle is really just for like. I mean, even go around, you still use Toga, but it's like emergency power, basically. Made it. 1669, uh, yeah, we'll take it. Made it 1669, Roger, change to runway 35 left, runway 35 left, get a lane. Change to 35 left, they're joining you. He doesn't want to do anything. There it goes. I mean, of course, I didn't mean to hit I that. I have to simulate, uh, overweight. You go half what? I go half uh, throttle to simulate overweight. That's dumb. Pilot Club 341, contact number departure 120.35. 2035, Pilot Club 341. Alright, so departure. Are we supposed to go 15 flaps? Five. Endeavor departure, Pilot Club 341. 6,900 climbing by the SID. Pilot Club 341, never departure, radar contact. Alright, radar contact. And uh, number 3542 extra, I got you now. Reset transponder 5127, you're cleared into the Denver class Bravo airspace. Must be a needing up there. Maybe, or that's Sun Country probably. Yeah, it's Sun Country. We just have a whole train heading out to Minneapolis. Actually, radar contact about five miles northeast of the Denver International Airport. Um, if you can, just uh, fly like a east northeast for now until you clear the, uh, the departure area, and then I'll get you on course. Any kind of speed retraction or anything like that? No. Left heading is zero seven zero. Okay. So I can speed up all I want. We're at ten thousand. Pilot Club 9901, leave my airspace, Denver Center is off, my other ships is terminated, if you can change, advise the cruise ship. Not over the Unicom, Pilot Club 9901, thank you. Pilot Club 826, leave my airspace, Denver Center is off, my other ships is terminated, if you can change, advise the cruise ship. Alright, now Unicom, we can go up to... Yeah. So, 430. Yeah, please leave my airspace, Denver Center is off, my other ships is terminated, if you can change, advise the cruise ship. Uh, the pilot club one five leaving my airspace center center south line air service is terminated for you change to advise the proof ship. I'm gonna go one two two point eight over here, just in standby. So that's twenty nine ninety eight, Roger fly heading zero three zero to join final clip as your approach, showing three five left. I'm coming up from the top of the snow. 
Good for you. Meanwhile, I just departed Denver, and I'm already, I mean, I'm already up at 320 knots. That's kind of how you do it. You get up going fast. Uh, 3542 three, 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 is redlining. Three, you don't want to do that. Traffic. You're not supposed to. I'm redlining right now. You're not supposed to. Literally, Why? you're. I'm uh, to get the most out of your aircraft. No, usually you want to do five and ten knots below that, or else your kind of, you know, structural integrity may not be perfect. There's limits for uh, for a reason. That's even more reason to not to not do that. Right, over three one at Romeo X ray and we're quick treasure. But airline um, you're like stand by about two minutes from. Planes, they fly almost every day. Yeah, and? So so three alpha lima and we're quick. They still don't go right up to Redline line in Pro, Southwest Plains. No, I'm we'll go ahead and get the landing lights off. I mean, everything else is set. We're good to go until we gotta descend, basically. Well, I still gotta put in cruise altitude here. Yeah, it's not going on yet. And, uh, number 3-1, Hermia, I say you could use that helicopter for it. Number 3-1, Hermia, I say, Roger, are you looking to depart from the ramp? I'm surprised you didn't try to fly glider from Denver to Minneapolis. Oh, no, I can't. There's not enough. Uh, sure. There's not enough. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up for the landing. Oh, I can't. There's not enough. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up for the landing. Crazy weird kid. That'd be a lot of work. Travel 2998, contact tower 132.35. Denver departure of the back of 510. We're currently heading 065 with you at 60, uh, 6600. You, five close, 510. Five, Why with you? Radar contact resume on navigation. Maintain VFR at or below 8500 for now. Resume on navigation. Maintain VFR well, at or below 8500 for now. Five close, 510. 8,500, huh? So three, five, four, two, X-ray turn left, heading 270, Lecter is on course. Oh, gosh. Why I yawn so much? Anyways, we're about to hit standard altimeter here. I'm going to go ahead and hit... 6, There's no ILS for what? There's a localizer. Huh? I don't like localizers. Why? It's literally the same as the ILS, except you, know, you, you just meet all the outer restrictions on your own. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. Dude's over here being lazy as a pilot. Hey bro, we have a slight headwind here, and... Uh, Alright. Those are now empty. Yes, I'm glad I'm staying low trying to go as fast as I can before we get up high. That way, uh... Staying out of the What's headwind. your cruising altitude again? 350. I got 410. Well, good for you. I could have chose 410 if I really wanted to. Can we get that rear high? What aircraft are you flying? 
A seven three eight. Yeah, it can go up to four one zero. That's the that's the cruise altitude cap. That's the server ceiling. It's four one zero. Four one zero is the server ceiling for a seven three eight and seven hundred. I think. I think that's what it is. You're just you're just you're not good then. Okay, okay, my you have so many problems if you're saying uh, what the heck, bro. I know. Is, uh, I think it's because I have to level off and then climb again and then level off and climb. You shouldn't have to do that, you're doing something wrong. Hey, 29, Denver, approach, try to just stand by two seconds. I've got my vertical speed at 250. Don't use vertical speed. You got traffic, catch your 1 o'clock about a mile, 1,000 feet above, maintain 1, 0, 10,000. This dude is loud. What? I maintain 10,000, 5, update 23. Me? Or the controller, what were you saying? Don't, yeah, uh, don't use vertical speed in the climb. Navigation, maintain, or sorry, remain west You're just waiting for a stall to happen. Final. Line to the During that one time that you forget line. you're climbing and you get too slow. Use flight, use flight level change. It's what every single airline pilot's going to do. You know, the button right there, and it'll hold a speed. You're, it's you're guaranteed not to stall unless you just go too high or something. Is he gonna send me to Unicorn? He already sent me to Unicorn. Well, he sent you, but not me. I don't even think he sent Sun Country yet. Denver departure, pilot up tree 41, flyable 230. Pilot up tree 41, sorry about that. Denver center is not flying, radar service is terminated, free to change, your badge approved set. Exchange approved, pilot up tree 41. Pilot up 823, climb and maintain, flyable 230. I maintain uh, 230, pilot up 823. There we go. And from here, I'll use Mach number. I guess at this altitude, probably isn't a good idea, actually. Yeah, bro, you don't just want to shove the throttle forward unless, like, it's, like, some emergency situation. I'm late for my flight. 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 I'm late so basically, if you're saying if I'm late, I can just shove it. No, it's not an emergency. No, it is. I'm at. Talking like for like traffic separation reasons, where you get way too close. Is Sky going to stream? Uh, hopefully, I think. I, I don't know if he's doing Sunday Fun Day though. Looks like he's online streaming Microsoft Flight Simulator, though. Or not, not streaming, but he's playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, I don't know. Let's see here. Is he on the ground? No. <laughs> Drippy's still on the ground. No crap. It's a little late for Sunday fun day, but we are doing a stream. All right. All right, I'm gonna go to Unicom. I don't need to listen to this guy now. As we're climbing. Yeah, even though Needing joined, it's now 4 a.m. for him. <laughs> it's pitch black outside, except for the city lights. Alright, look at that whole train of planes going in. Got one guy going to Prairie. Going to Sioux Falls. For some reason, there's a guy that said he was. Oh, he put in the wrong airport. Or he typed it wrong. That's funny. 
But he's he's here with us, although their uh, separation is not great. Ah, they're different. They're different altitudes. They're fine. You left way too early. You're not even a part of the pilot though, bro. I know. I don't the really primary know. 4211 technically is. But in terms of pilot clip call sign, that's uh, 142. Yeah, 4211, he doesn't know what he's doing a lot of the time. I'm gonna be honest. What makes you say that? Just things he does. Things he says on the radios, how he says them. November 695 Whiskey, with you, flight level 360. No, not even that. It's just, I don't know, it does things in weird ways. Who that? Is that Sun Country? That is. Most likely, yeah, it is. Yeah, if there's not starting like this one. Nice. That sun country is going slower than me too. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna slow down my climb speed a little bit. We're gonna go Mach 7, 8. Or I'm gonna increase my climb speed, but slow down the lateral speed. What's his cruise? Where did he file for cruise? Uh, Three, oh, we're at the same altitude? Are you kidding me? Me? No, Sun Country 656. I filed for 36. How did, how did he not change it? Because Tower was really busy. No, that was before he was busy. No, he was still pretty busy. What is that VATSIM flight tracker? Which. Oh, you're talking about VATSPY? Right there? It's, it's VATSPY. Yeah, right up here. You need to make a command that says uh, VATSPY. Yeah, maybe. Like... And do I have. No, I need to make a button for this eventually. But I think it's this. Is that it? Yes, it is. That's all the different colors I use for VATSPY. You know, you go up into the settings here and it's all the map colors there. That's all the ones I use. You know, to get it like a dark mode. You know, it works out pretty well. Of course, I like it. Huh, look at that Anchorage Center's online. Oh, I made a good fly over there. Wait, I know who that is. Ian in Fisher. I've yep, seen him around a decent amount. On, that's always on Colorado. He's a guy that yeah. allows me to freaking do F 14. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop at uh, 330 and I'm gonna pass under this guy. Because he's just, he's going slow. The only thing is the cruise altitudes is, or cruise speed. We'll see how that works. You know, I never really pay attention to what my cost index is or anything like that. I just kind of click the button and go. Well, I mean, I get it all imported from Simbrief and stuff, and I never really pay attention. It's 18. 
Is it isn't lower numbers like less efficient, but you're going faster? Uh oh, I got traffic in front of me. Of course Who's you do. Delta nine nine two and he's a seven five seven at file three five zero. That's not a smart idea if you're going from Seattle to or wait, no, never mind, he's about to He's Where is he? Yeah. He's, uh, he's in front of me. He's to my left. Delta? Yeah, the Delta. He's a little high. Or maybe you're yeah. just descending early. I like descending early. Why? Guess. You do you, I guess. Your worst fuel efficiency. Okay, I'm getting a million traffic warnings. He's my flight level now. It's fine. Because theoretically, your best top of descent would be the exact thing where you can go idle throttle and glide it all the way down to the runway. This thing's glide ratio is not 98, so I would probably won't. Yeah, no, no, no. That that's still your theoretical top of descent. You know, if there wasn't any restrictions on arrivals. Speaking of arrivals, what do we got here? Two eighty knots at Torgy. Uh, One thirty at Spooky. 7,000 feet. And then to left, to this right. Expect to RNAV or ILS approach or radar vectors, final approach course. Alright. Wonder why they have like a waypoint that's just two miles apart like that. I don't know. I'd wait. Huh? Hard to I did. You just never seem to catch him. I'm blind. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Alright, so ILS 1 2 right approach and use. ILS 1 2 left approach and use. I'll approach over north sensitive area. All the stuff. From my 4 2 2 closed. I'm taking 1 7. That's not a valid runway right now. I don't care. So you're willing to mess everyone else up because you want to be different? Really? Wait, am I really going to mess people up because I take one step? Yes. You'd be crossing final paths. Short final paths at that. Even worse. It, in the ATIS from my one seven is not not a not using right now not in use right now. Yeah, you're right. I will it's almost never well. in use. Just use one two I right or left. At, I want to land at one seven. Well, yeah, needing that's not kind of obvious. You're gonna take one two right because you're you're in a, in a longitude. You're going over to the FBO. I'm gonna take one two right too. Hmm. Over on the Minneapolis website, where might we park? Oh, I know it's event briefing. Should we park where Delta parks, or Aer Lingus, or American, or United? I don't how many concourses they have, jeez. Park where Spirit parks. <laughs> they have a lot of different airlines that come into here. It's like middle of the United States. It makes sense. 
Denver is a bit more of that. That's why they have so many parking spots there. So I'm kind of surprised Kansas City is not a major one. It's still a Bravo and all that, but it's just not as crazy. Mm. Even Wichita. Wichita's with Charlie. Yeah. That seven I, I, I could go park he's... where Southwest parks. He's slant Zulu. And? What, Got what a problem with that? Zulu? Arnev, no GPS. Call... And he can go up high. He's a seven five. And? Your aircraft type doesn't dictate your, equi your equipment suffix. It's literally what equipment you currently have that is functioning. Or what, yeah, what navigation equipment you have that is. Now it just simply not going to until intercepting 250 knots, maintain 250 until slowed by the star. Hmm. I really wish P the Adobe Acrobat could have a dark mode. Where the PDFs will like change the dark. I just change a white background to, to dark. So like a gray or something. That'd be great. I passed up Sun Country yet? Yep. <laughs> He's going 439. And I'm. Wait. Yeah, and I'm 487. I'm passing him by like 30 knots or something. Do I have the separation yet? No. Once I have at least 3 mile separation, I'll go ahead and climb up to 35. Yeah, because that's it where the longer. well, not just longer runway, but that's one of the active runways. I wonder why that sun crater is going so slow. I Hmm. Why did you just hear a spring? I don't know. Basically. I'm already pretty close to having that separation. So I can climb. It's like, bro, we still have a little bit till we get to Minneapolis. Somewhere around 400 miles or so. About an hour. Actually, wait, the top of the stream, it'll show the thing. So it is 2104 is when we are supposed to land. Yeah, I'd like 10 minutes to that. So yeah, we've got about an hour. No flight time left. I got like 15 minutes. Hmm. It's kind of funny how I have fucking 40 knots on this sun country. Oh, his, uh, he's new to Vatsin. You gotta got love new people coming in, you know? How do you know? His remarks. Oh. And if I go view stats... Uh... 
Yeah, he has 104 hours as a pilot, though. I think I so, like, he's years. not that new. He's got some experience. Looks like he flies... He's flown, um... Speedbird once. Maybe twice or something. He's done a couple Boeing call signs. A couple Deltas. A few Sun Countries. Southwest one time, it looks like. Uh, Sun Country, but he spelled it wrong, unless that's actually an airline. And then he, he f for 10 minutes, he flew just United. UAL. <laughs> so I feel like a controller told him that's not how it works. Yeah, I have over 285 hours. Oh, if we're talking, we're comparing numbers, I got, uh, 1,069. Controller hours, it's 638. I don't, know. I don't know why it says I have controller hours for being an observer. Yeah, have you ever I mean, done? Yeah. Have you ever done that in a in a controller client at all? Ever signed on in one? Yeah, I have. Then that's what that's for. All right, I can climb. I got I got the separation. I'm also I heard 69. Yeah, I got uh, 1,069 hours. Put the throttle up. When the hell and did come. I have to call sign Alpha One Two? I'm not surprised you've done that. These call signs are weird. I mean, there's a red one too. I remember that. So Alpha One Two, that would be uh, Air Force Twelve or Air Force One Two. Okay. Huh? Uh, the first call sign I ever used. Bro, I wonder if Cleared Contact has a list of all the different like military abbreviated things. I know A, that's Air Force. Um, I, no, I assume, I I assume M would be a, like uh, Marines or something? No. Not necessarily. It can just be A. Uh, uh, I, I assume C is... I, 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 I assume C is Coast Guard. Then... I can barely even see that sun country now. Prevent DHL call signs. Oh wait, what else is there? Um wait, if A is Air Force, what is I mean, I guess Army doesn't have aircraft to really I mean they not as much at least. Uh where are the other? You got Navy. Pretty sure that would, that's like in. You could put in Navy. Let's go look up military aircraft call sign. I haven't used an airliner call sign in a bit. So there's this thing, it's what, you know, like online sometimes you'll see, you know, what's your name if such and such or whatever. This one is, uh, what's your call sign? So it's first letter of your last name. So I would be sizzling. And then the second thing, uh, sizzling scooter, apparently. <laughs> I mean, that's not how call signs work, but okay. What? Good eyes, gizzling scooter. Yep. a thing for at least there. Uh, oh, there's a Wikipedia article. Does that have anything in here? No. 
Nope, it does not. <laughs> oh, this half of it's from the UK too. Out of this page. So stations begin with A. Used by the U.S. Air Force. Sam. Name is I'm about to enter Iris. Not oh yeah. This, yeah. this Wikipedia article doesn't tell you much about it all. I just now realized I have the flight test package on. What does that mean? The flight test package? It's like it has like a red looking cone connected to your rudder to show airflow. Hmm. I, I don't know weird. how that thing is even survived. I don't even know what that it's is. It's somewhere in your FMC. It's an equipment. Man, I don't feel like changing that. Oh, it doesn't do anything except increase a little bit drive. Yeah, I, I can't really find it. Not much about what they are. Oh, there's an article about uh, raunchy military call signs that show up on flight trackers. <laughs> what? There's so. <laughs> Looks like there was a KC-135 Strato tanker whose call sign was uh, titties. <laughs> uh, that is not a valid call sign, so I don't know what the heck that's about. Uh, oh, we got another Strato tanker with Actually, was that even in the U.S.? That, one, that, was, in, that was in Qatar. <laughs> oh, what the heck, bro? Also, look at this. We can look over and see what an eating's up to. He's talking in Chinese to his friends in the chat. No idea what none of that says. What? I cannot <laughs> have a Chinese viewer. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's just I come over to your chat and it's just all like I can't even read that. <laughs> yes, you can. You can see the he say native speaker. Well, yeah, I can see he's a native speaker. I mean that part's in English. Yeah. Sense. <laughs> yeah, you can read that. <laughs> oh yeah, sense down there. XD. Yeah. Oh, is there a four somewhere? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's there. a four right below. This is a six. <laughs> I see a six. <laughs> yeah. I see I mean, let's, 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 yes. let, let, let's, let's just pick one of these messages out of context, stick it into Google Translate. <laughs> oh, that one is pretty hard. <laughs> so Chinese, traditional, to English. If you can't climb up, you don't spend money when you s should spend it. You don't <laughs> save money when you should save it. You don't choose what you should choose. You don't upgrade when you should upgrade it. Huh. It was saying again. Is that a poem? Uh, Ting of Tactics? What? A TFT. Have you ever heard a game about it? No. Oh, what's your Streamlabs message say here? Let's see here. Also, bro, why are you using Streamlabs? Garbage company. What else I can do? Tell me. You use uh, use, use uh, open broadcast software, OBS. It's the the company Why? that stream that Streamlabs rip tried to rip off the the software from and then claim as their own. Oh, they do, huh? Yeah, stream and also right, Streamlabs makes you pay for a lot of your shit. Meanwhile, in OBS, you can just get a plugin for a lot of the things that you do over there. Okay, I'll check that later. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yes, and you should be able to import all your stuff from Streamlabs into OBS. 
What's he got here? This I'm one's got lazy, XD. You know? So I'm new to string, remember that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of you are. Oh, we got Epic Rider here, can't, can't English. I've already took it off. <laughs> yeah, I can't English. My hmm. first language is Russian. Totally <laughs> nah. Uh, it was works. saying it, it was saying that my English level is time. pretty great between the Taiwanese normal people and the native speaker. Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, I know it's not that bad. I mean, you've, you've definitely improved. You, you've definitely improved it since like day one, though. Day one yeah, of being I, over here on the stream. Where's my top of the set? Oh yeah, where's my top? Of the <laughs> I got a while. I, I my mine is like wow. right over Schwan. 18 minutes later, okay. Mine was, like, right over Eric. Over Eric? Yeah. Uh, I, mean, that, Eric. I mean, you know, most people, they're going to be right in that area. And my thing's like, unable 280 knots, Eric. I'm like, you sure about that? I will yeah, force you to do 280 good. knots. <laughs> mine says that, too. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I don't use b so... No, you should I use VNAV on the using way it down. After I stopped using it because uh, once I used it, it sent me in a nosedive. Then you were probably too high. No, I was not. I was actually sure. on the right flight level to enter the Then you, you're just doing something wrong as a pilot? That sucks. In the FMC, it doesn't really show where your top of ascent is. Sometimes who should go slow? Aircraft? Nah. What's your speed at? 498? Jesus, needing what, what Mach number are you at? I just saw you I just saw you redlining that. What what are you doing, bro? Bro, 0 .83, 0 .82. You don't want to redline like that. Especially because you got you got a guy in front of you that's uh, 30 knots slower. I got a guy in front of me. Are you sure about that? I was point eight nine at one point. Oh yeah, well, I he mean, did. He's I mean, miles. he's five thousand feet below you, or four thousand. Yeah, like that. twelve. But but the thing miles. is that you know me. you're you're both gonna start descending about the same time, and so you you, you probably want to keep your your current like position behind him. Right. I mean, you're at, you're at different altitudes, but you know it's not gonna be too long you'll descend. So you should slow down. Okay, I'll slow, slow down. Slow it under his speed. He's going 470 on the ground speed. You know, he's, a, he's a slow little A320. You know, I need to figure out why my longitude isn't working. It's probably some add-on conflicting. Or something. Scotia. Nah. Make sure that I select the right thing here. Corgi. Yep. All right. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in the ILS here. So, or do I want to do one to right, one to left? See, I always do one to right when I come into Minneapolis because I usually fly GA. But it depends on where I want to park. I mean, I'll probably just do the left side and park over here since I never get to fly on the left runway. The only time I do is the few, times, the, the, few, the few times I've, I've, won, I've done uh, the military flights that I've tried to do before. So let's see here. ILS 1 2 right. Uh, oh, I could literally start that at Krug just right after the arrival. I'm, uh, I'm going to do auto land. I want to see how it does. Wait, did I put in the wrong one? Yes. Wrong one. This one. Oh, never mind. I can't. It, it won't take. So you. I'm going to put CJ in there. So that way I have all the waypoints in at least. Oh, Minneapolis ATC. Oh, Minneapolis APC. Where art thou? Minneapolis ATC. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are we there yet? Nope, not yet. Are we there yet? No, not with that voice. I'll turn this plane around. <laughs> I'll fucking pull a 180, go back to Denver. <laughs> You're already further than. You'll need it like. And? Okay. Take a, I'll, take, I'll take a do detour to Omaha, how about that? Bro, I'm in the back yeah, of the Congo like line? That's cool. partially your fault, Drippy. I'm in the front. Hmm. I'm about to land, I'm about to fuck Good for you. Uh oh, traffic. I don't Where? know. I don't want to see traffic. Oh, it's on the ground. Hmm. <laughs> The Delta. Yeah, I'm getting traffic when he's on the back too. I think it's because of Springspan is too long. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a restroom break, so I'll be right back. Your chairs, Doug. What is up with you and chairs? Chair is chair. 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 Chair is ch
chair. Chair has love. You're so fascinated with chairs, bro. <laughs> Mr. is a needing, you know, he's been streaming his whole thing since he left, uh, what is that, MCI, what did I put that again? Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City, yeah. I'm gonna go fly down my home airport. Hmm. My chair has some issues? I mean, I know it does. Chair has some back issues. There's a broken bolt on the left side. I know that much. Kind of why I have the chair in the position I do. It's like leaning against this thing behind me. Or else the back of the chair just will, will have me lean way back. Also a reason why I'm not centered up with the yoke. Like I really should be. You know? You know, it is kind of disappointing. Two streams a week for me, you know, we don't get as many viewers on the stream. You know, I'm out here flying a plane. Or on Monday, you know, doing Minecraft, something other than flight sim. Although surprisingly, sometimes Minecraft gets more viewers than, than the Sunday fun day streams. Maybe I should stop streaming on Sundays. Just take the day off, you know? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> and he's like crying. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd probably still do Sunday Fun Day, I just wouldn't stream it. Anyways, top of descent, I mean, that should be somewhat soon, right? Actually, I still have a little bit until I get there. I mean, it's the next waypoint. Approximately where I'll descend. Over to Swain. Or Swan. You know what? I should put in the frequencies and course for this uh, ILS. Got 110.7. One one zero point seven. There we go. Zero point seven. Put that primary, primary, and the course is a one to two one. There's that. One twenty one. Hey, it defines how you doing. What kind of a mode is that? Strawberry happy. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, sometimes I gotta make sure I'm still connected to Vatsim because you know it gets pretty quiet. Press the wrong button? What, in terms of what emote you were trying to put in? Is that what you messed up in eating? That chat's what it was. No, no, I don't need sim brief anymore. I'm gonna start closing some tabs here. Oh, you pinned his message? Oh, that's what that was. I saw something appear. I don't, I don't know what it was. 
I just hit the wrong button. Seems like a lot of the pilot members, they're not even over in the voice chat anymore. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight of them over in the voice chat. Everyone else has just left and gone off and done their own things. Oof. This is why sometimes I'll go over and check Discord often just in case they are, uh... They, like, send me a message like, hey, this needs to happen or whatever the heck, you know? You know, eventually I might just catch up to an eating here. Because he's only doing 450 knots ground speed. I'm doing, like, 486. Speed up, then. Oh, this is my fastest speed. That's not. 1.89 is. No, it's not. What the fuck are you talking about? It's, like, deep in the red line. Bro, you told me to slow down. Yeah, no, I told you to slow down. With the separation and all that. He wants to overtake. No, it's just and I'm I'll, get, I'll get closer and I'll I'll eventually have to slow down. Especially for the arrival here. Still no ATC sadly. Not even a tower or anything. Yeah, that's this point. Yeah, it is. You know, I've been thinking about going and visiting Minneapolis for a while. Maybe I should go ahead and do that. Huh? You mean in real life? No, in... on Batsim. For ATC. Maybe I should do that. There's, there's an email I gotta go send, because a lot of Arctic stuff have, like, a form you fill out. But this one, when I was going through and reading through all their stuff, it's a, uh... You guys send an email. So I guess they're slight. I guess I guess, us? bro. They have this fancy ass website, and then, <laughs> you know, it's all. It's like, pro in my opinion, better than a lot of the others. And then they're like, you can send an email if you want to come visit. <laughs> I kind of wonder that website, uh, how it looks like. What Minneapolis? Yeah. You can go to it. Go to the VAT USA website. I'll even show it on the stream here. You know, VATUSA.net, I didn't mean to click on that. And then you go, then you go facilities, House. and find, uh, find Minneapolis. And then there's their website, oh, minicenter.org. Huh? Whoa. Bro, they have all sorts of information on their website. It's actually kind of cool. This is great. For controllers and for pilots and everything. Their stuff is really detailed. But then if you come... Where is... Awesome. No, there was... I, I mean, I know in one of the SOPs it tells you what to do to become a visitor. I'd have to go back and reread that. Uh... It's not on the website it told you. Maybe not. Unless you gotta go down Can't here. Terrible? Wait, what's this dashboard thing? Wait, how oh, did I, you I, make it dock mode? Uh, it's it's a Firefox extension called Dark Reader. Oh, it's an extension. Okay, that's why. Huh. Bro, best extension though. To be honest. I know. Because you, you can you customize. Can you can you can turn it on and off for a particular websites. So like if some give you trouble and all that. Because ever so often they will. Because it doesn't know exactly the right things to replace. Like a, a lot of times, realize. a lot of times I've had like forms that will uh, like get messed up a little bit. The guy that I always fly uh, when I fly in Kansas City, the guy that's like pretty much always on is a like, supervisor. I did not know that. Hmm. God damn it. I'm not almost supposed to do that. Um, You're not supposed to what? I'm, I'm still going through my 
uh, what is it called? Controller looking training thing on the back of this website. Yeah. Where do you plan on controlling? Kansas. Oof. Why? Just oof. That's all. Is it oh. bad? I mean... I wanna go there since my... I mean, I haven't heard bad things, haven't really heard good things either, so I don't know. Just as long as you don't go to Atlanta, they're crazy. Even Boston's a little crazy, but it's like a controlled crazy in Boston. So we went to my top of descent. Okay, it's actually coming up somewhat soon. So what's the bottom? It is... 7,000. I'll put this at 7,000. And the altitude hold comes on. We'll hit VNAV. Except I want to control my speed. Plane don't control my speed, I do. And then it'll descend on its own once we uh, get over there in 20 miles. Something I just realized is when I took off, I never set RTO. Hmm. It's a little disappointing. Maybe I should I should try and balance the fuel a little bit. So we got cross feed. I need to turn off the pumps on the right side. I think. No, that's the wrong that's the wrong way of doing it. Gotta turn it off on the other side. And then it should only pull from the right side. For both engines. I just kind of set my fuel mid-air. I just kind of uh, like take off the fuel I have. Not, I you're not, not supposed to do that, bro. Come off. on, you're cheating. Well, it's so my APU doesn't freaking gobble up all of my... Uh, yeah, that's, that's why you do fuel balancing like this. You know, it's a couple, a couple hundred pounds on the, on the other side there. So that's on, and then cross feed off. And there we go, look at that, almost exactly balanced. No fuel modification needed. Okay, so what's going on with the guy in front of me? That's a needing. So I got 28 miles on him, and the guy behind me, I got 25 on him. Alright. Why is there a whole bunch of people flying to Sioux, Sioux City? Sioux Falls? It's a whole bunch of the pay call signs specific, that's it. A whole bunch of the Pacific call signs. What? Are they doing like a fly-in? Maybe. PacificAirways.net is apparently a website. Yep, oh, we're descending. She's a-going. I'll slow it down a little bit. Especially because I want to run over and eating. Even though he could totally outspeed me. Okay, we'll use a tiny bit of speed break here. Oh, I forgot to Grab to set your what? Delivery, I'm flying in Anchorage. I'm, I'm flying pilot club. I'm flying Anchorage in a glider. Hmm. 
I forgot to oh, shoot. I keep like hitting the mic. Does that does that like show up on the stream every time I do that? Uh, sometimes. It like we can hear like a little tap, but it isn't uh. that bad. It, it's like this. Suck, except I except I can't I can't I can't hear your mic at all. Mm. It's probably not that bad on my stream because of all the filters and stuff I got. All I got two. Uh, one is for find themselves, and the other one is just my computer. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about a bunch of software filters. Yeah, I only have two software filters. Hmm. I got filters. I the find one, and the one that automatically. Yeah, I got. I got uh... What's it called? Damn it. Voice meter. And then of course there's some settings in OBS. That changes a bit. What actually are those? Let's see here. Filters. I got a noise gate, a compressor, and a limiter. This keeps telling me to turn on my parking brakes when I'm like wider and I don't got it. Hmm. Oh wait, what's the altimeter down in Minneapolis? Four. Let's see here. Dot X. Or not X. Dot... Three zero zero eight. What's it called again? Dot METAR... KMSP. Yeah, if you didn't know in your power client, you can literally type dot METAR in there in an air airport. Pretty useful thing sometimes. What are you just gonna do? Random stuff around Minneapolis? No, random stuff around uh, Anchorage. No. Because this controller knows me uh, by the two six octave call signs, so I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> huh. Who knows me for flying the F 14 at Mach 2 above his airspace? Hmm. He was controlling at a, like an island. I forgot where it was, but. A good thing though that he knows you? Probably not. Yeah, exactly. Alright, what's that white point I need to pass it? Whatever not by the knots? Oh, I gotta get down to 280 here soon. Let's see here, we'll hit that. Pull her back to 280. Now, as long as I'm within like 290, by the time I get there, it should be fine. But I'm gonna need to pull it back early. Pull back, put out, put out some spoilers. I found this always interesting how some of these arrivals and departures they'll have multiple waypoints where they say, you know, the same speed. Even though you'd assume you just follow the speed from the previous one. You know? What river basin is that? say there's some river basin down there or not basin just thing I don't know Kind of funny that this dude, this dude's like unable to idiot Torgi. Nah, you're you're totally able. You're willing and able. No, so let's see here. What's the heading we have off of uh, final here? Zero four two. 
So I'm going to put that in so I can continue the heading after this or after this arrival. And then just vector myself for the ILS. Oh, I thought, uh... I thought Skyman was going to come over to Minneapolis, but he looks like he's flying up to Fargo. On that spy. Yeah, Fargo's like his home big airport. Apparently he's, he's closer to an uncontrolled field, but... That one's not it. I guess I'm too far away to hear people on Unicom down there. So, Nate, you're going to watch me land whenever you, you go land, park at your spot? What? What were you're you saying? Going to watch me land whenever you get to your parking spot? Sure. Open the drone cam or something? Yeah, I would do that, but which runway are you going to land? Uh, the left side. Oh, left, okay. I'll move my drone cam. Nah, I'm going to land runway four. No, I'm just kidding. Wrong with four? What? No. You know what's fun? It is fun though when they when they do do runway four landings. I've, I've, I don't know. I've I've flown ever before when they're landing runway four. Ah. Uh, wait, which one is the wrong with? Oh, I thought it. Never mind. Yep. Oh gosh. I'm always tired whenever I'm doing this stuff. Sleepy. You know, I don't know if me and the fam are doing anything tonight, because this is it's one of the reasons why I only stream earlier instead of later. So we used to have one day a week that, you know, if there's stuff we want to go do, it, we can do it on Sunday nights. You know, I I haven't heard of anything, no, so maybe, I, maybe, maybe after, after dinner after? I'll go up and do some controlling, I just won't stream it. Glider. What do you mean glider? Glider. What about a glider? Better in your Yeah, hey, Nathan, is this guy over in your chat talking about your, your English or something? Yeah, he's from Taiwan, but live in US. Oh, okay. I think he's one of your followers, too. Is he? Honestly, bro, there's so many at this point, I'm losing track. <laughs> ah. I mean, bro, we're near. We're nearing on the the quad digits, you know, the one thousand. So like, you oh. know, it, it gets to a point where it can be a bit crazy. Okay, I've got plenty of room between me and the guy behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and start slowing down a little bit. We'll go two fifty. Still separate the distance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Are you doing your uh, 250 knots below 10,000 yet? Well, actually, you're not below 10 yet. But you'll eventually have to slow down. I'm trying, bro. No, I'm, d I'm just saying so you don't forget. Especially if no ATC, which is disappointing. Like Minneapolis, you had one job. <laughs> and they said they were, they were gonna be on. And I gotta do some speed break here, it seems like. Just a tiny bit, you know, nothing much. I 
Like I'm at basically idle throttle. I'm just, I'm just using like, I can't even see where my speed brakes are out. And then, yeah, there we go. I'll put a tiny bit more out. That's your speed brake? That's tiny. Yeah, the little the little thing. Well, I mean, I barely have it out. So like, th this is full bore in the air right there. Is that even working? Oh, it's working. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But see, on the when you land on the ground, it goes like double. It goes basically right up with the wind. You see, when I when I go like this, is, that's only half extension, but that's as far as you can go in the air. It's just how it stuff works. Unable what? It's saying request a bottle landing. <laughs> Come on, you got this, Needy. Bro, this is first time I landed at this airport. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I might get to do it at local, but this one, I have no idea. I almost uh, crashed at a Denver. Uh, well, Denver, that's because it's density altitude. You're just not used to that, that altitude. I'm nervous, bro. You're fine. You know, do you do you use the mod for the longitude that uh, changes the flight model a little bit? I... I don't know. Because apparently yeah, it makes it more realistic, and I think it's also easier to fly the plane with it. I think I do have oh, a... Oh, there's a, there's a chance. It could also be the mod? thing... It's a, it's a chance that it could also be the thing that that stopping my plane from my longitude from working. Uh -huh. Also a chance on that. Okay, then we gotta slow to two thirty. All right, let's see what distance we are. Thirty miles. I wonder if the sun country behind me knows to slow down. He's actually he's still at his cruise altitude basically. He is not coming down. He should have started descending like thirty miles ago. At least. <sighs> yeah, Minneapolis Traffic Pilot Club tree forty one. Uh, ten thousand descending via the Oh shoot. Alright, the Torgi 3 will be uh, setting up for ILS from way 1-2 uh, left. Thank you, sir. Huh? Okay, let's see here. You want us? Bro, what the fuck's up with the music? Come on, bro. Hyper. Hello. You want? Do you want to like turn off oh, your music shit. or not yeah. make it on your speakers or something? Yeah, I was watching. Bro, the you, bro, you, you two picks up if you fucking hum a song, like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Forgot my push talk was off. My bad. Why is the thermal dead? I'm right next to a mountain. Doesn't mean nothing. It's cold up there, you know? Yeah, but I should be getting waves. I don't know. Alright, so I wonder if I turn off my transponder and just, like, uh, salute up. I don't think I'm nervous. You shouldn't do that, though. Why? Especially if you're in your controlled airspace. I mean, I'm with Acreage Center. I'm doing flight following. I'm not in. Uh, the they. Area. You need to have your transponder on for that. Even if it's just yeah, mode I'm alpha, just you can, you can, you can still, you can still do it. No, I'm just saying, like. Uh, 
What am I doing? It's just so I can gain altitude really goddamn fast. Hmm. Apparently my V ref would be 135. All right. Wind speed correction plus five knots. So let's go to 140. Unless it's just telling me it's set it to 140 or something. I don't know. I might continue this heading. Alright, so I don't need to descend. Yes, I do. Down to 5,000. Minneapolis traffic on 403 Alpha Lima Southern Point out on runway 12 right. Minneapolis traffic. I need to go vertical speed down. I mean, technically it's 4,000. Yeah, let's go 4,000. Dang it, Simpros. Not supposed to do that. Sim issue. There we go. Well, yeah. It is for basically everyone. There's, there's the thermal. Oh my god, that, that was. So strong. Minneapolis traffic pilot cub tree forty one on a uh, fifteen mile right to base for the Alice runway one to two at left uh, full stop Minneapolis. So I need to turn now. To like a 100 heading. I mean, I could also do 90, I think. Pretty sure that's legal. Bro, that Sun Country literally went AFK. He's just still going in a straight line, 35,000 feet, over the, about to go over the airport in a couple minutes. It's his first flight, he's No, he's got, he's got 100 hours. Maybe he doesn't have his top of the center. What the heck is that clicking sound? It's FS realistic, I'm pretty sure. Where is that sound? Collapse the lever. Turn off. Get out of here. It's Minneapolis traffic pilot up 341 on a, uh, let's call it one five mile final for runway uh, one to two at left, uh, full stop Minneapolis. And drop the gear. Not to flaps in, or maybe two notches. Okay. Alarm approach. Do we still have a dot there? Oh, if I need to slow down. Redlining it. Also, turn on all the lights. Like Christmas lighter up like Christmas tree. Single channel. Oh, I forgot you gotta do that, don't you? It's probably not gonna do auto land at all. I usually don't trust it anyways. Right, you gotta have both computers on while well, you do the localizer thing. And I love Autoland. 
The only thing is you gotta actually do it correctly for it to work. Yeah. Gotta do the localizer first and then the approach mode. And you have to have both computers on. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy in like the fly-by-wire and the uh, headwind and the headwind's 330. So that's well, the in the 7.3, really you have then. to have both computers on, do the localizer yeah, and all that first. Yeah. I'm trying to one save off right, for the 7.3. Uh, Can't wait till I can afford it. How far do I have to go here? do not even tell me. That's stupid. We're over Washi. That's six mile per hour? Seven? Seven. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go six. Minneapolis traffic, Pelican Tree 41. Uh, six mile final, runway one to two left, full stop, Minneapolis. Okay, what's my speed? 135. Minneapolis traffic, southwest, speed 80. Taxi, to runway one to right. Via Tango, Mike, Whiskey, Minneapolis. All right, we'll set speed brakes. Those are set. Auto brake set. We got our flaps 30. Did I'm ready to go. Really use yes. I just kind of like slam on the brakes. I do. Auto brakes are awesome. Bro, you're gonna have hot brakes every single time. If you ever get an airplane That's that simulates that. If you ever get a plane that simulates that, you're probably gonna have brakes that are on fire every time you land doing that. It's called a brake fans. Brake fans don't I help at that on. point. I turned them on uh, before I found out Atlanta. Bro, what the fuck? You ain't no pilot. Now we're hand flying it. Fine. You can screw off with your airspeed low. Airspeed low. That wasn't that great of a landing. Not good at landing airliners. I love landing seven threes, it's so good. Hmm. Yeah, because you guys are into, like, general aviation and stuff. Looks like we're going all the way down to Papa 2. <laughs> Bro, we pay for this runway, we're taking up the whole runway. You know? Minneapolis traffic, pilot club 341 is clear, runway 1 at 2 left, accident parking by Papa, Minneapolis. Alright, landing lights, those off, those off. traffic, prime air, 4211 heavy, holding short 12 right. Oh shoot, I'm over in the thing now. Alright, so APU is starting. You know, I forget to do that a lot. And Prime Air 4211, Winston 7, departure off of uh, 12 right, uh, St. Paul traffic.
Yeah, bro. Primary 42, 11 sprays out. He's definitely not great. He gets out here and just does whatever the heck he feels like, I guess. So technically, I'm supposed to be over a, a taxi lane. on the stop though. Minneapolis traffic stop with 880 taking runway 12 right for immediate departure. Minneapolis. Hmm. I'm primary 4211 direct Green Bay at this time. Yeah, we'll turn off those. IRS's can turn off, off. Uh, that can come off. We're set. Alright, ground stuff. Set. Ground power. Apparently everything else is engine inhibited right now. Even though engines are off, they're still just spinning. Yeah, whatever, I guess. I turned both of them off. Three, 10 mile final ILS, uh, one, two, right. So how was that landing and eating? Perfect landing. I mean, it wasn't that great. <laughs> you, know. you know, I see you made a dynamic landing. A dynamic landing? Is that what you call it? Yeah, that's pretty when you, great. When you land hard? <laughs> no, you're not. You're doing great. Alright, so they can deplane in a second, I guess. I'm stopping them. Oh, the door's probably not open. Bro, I told the airway to connect and it didn't want to connect. Oh, it opened the wrong door. What the heck? I didn't even open the right side one. Yeah, it's just not working. Rip. Well, I guess passengers, uh, be prepared for a 20 foot drop. You're, you're about to jump. Minneapolis traffic, Michael Bay 23, five mile final, I was 12 right, Minneapolis traffic. <sighs> That's Pilot Club 823, Jeremy. I don't actually recognize him, to be honest. Alright, so passengers are deplaning. Emote only chat? Huh. Really? I got an idea doing, for you. Doing too. one of those, what? You should uh, just do auto land every landing in this thing and pretend that you're doing it. Well, I couldn't though that time. Why? Uh, didn't have both autopilots on when I needed to. Well, yeah, but like, in the future, you know. See, bro, I try to do the auto land, but then a lot of times I'll forget a step. Oh. Uh. There we go, mode only. There we go. Skyman, you know, the troll man. Put in zero in. Up, oh, that's the wrong spot. Both of those. Uh, we can actually turn off the APU. Okay, APU coming off. 
air conditioning machine out there is still there. Packs are deplaning. This thing's still working on connecting. What the heck? Over here, turn off the squawk machine. And now Nina's crying, he can't talk, even though he's like in the voice yet. <laughs> It is pretty funny. Well, anyways, now we're here at the end of the stream for the night. Or, I guess the day, because it's not nighttime right now. Wait, can the bot speak in a moat only chat? I don't know. Probably not. Although, wait, no, mods bypass it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Aneedin can type. Because <laughs> he's a mod. Uh, already end of stream? What? Yeah. What, are you planning on flying somewhere else? I uh, know, I ended my stream. Uh, okay. Rated. Who, oh, is this the person where all your emotes come from? Uh, one of them, yes. I was about to say the, and... little, the, the character on the screen that looks like some of your emotes. Yeah. And she's <laughs> also working Twitch. She what? She worked for, she, she worked for Twitch. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> There's hmm. one em emoji made by her. Have you ever huh. see that? I don't oh. know. Well, anyways, you know, tomorrow we'll be doing Minecraft Monday, the once a week. We're not doing flight sim. If you guys haven't already come on over and join the Discord, I don't think I'd put that command in there already. And of course, GA Tuesday on Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be doing air traffic control somewhere. Uh, Thursday will be, uh, most likely flying Thursday. I forgot where it is this week. I don't know. And then Friday, I don't know what we're doing Saturday. I don't know. You know, I haven't planned that far in advance. Mrs. Stringer, part of a stream, all the VODs can be found over on YouTube. Of course, you can find them on Twitch as well, but they get deleted after two weeks, and I really can't control that. Same part on time traffic. Challenger, November 16th. Flying Thursdays at Midland, Texas. Oh, Texas. And, oh. And Bush Wednesday is, is that, is that the north? Is it the north half or the south half of Texas? I'm not sure, but also Bush Wednesday is before that, and then oh. there's F and O race in the summer, which is. Uh, huh. All sense. right, so I think we got two options here. Should we go raid Skyman with his one viewer, or should we raid Factual Goal? Honestly, who's Birch? I don't remember who Birch's TV is. I don't know. He came in or or we or, we or yeah no or we can go find someone new. Oh, Birch did. Yeah, I think he did. He was he's the ground controller at Denver. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, anyways, which which person should we raid here? Unless you guys want to guide the raid to somewhere else. That's also an option. It's coming. Uh, of course. I bet you if Drippy was here, he'd be like factual. He'd, he'd be simping. <laughs> Any female option? What? <laughs> Wait, is Sky flying into Minneapolis now? He is so far away. What? <laughs> Bro, how is he hearing the radio traffic way over there? 180 miles away. Bro, Sky, I know you're watching. I, I know you're flying to Fargo. How the fuck are you hearing Minneapolis traffic 100 miles, 180 miles away? He got the PC radio. I don't know, bro. And I mean, I've listened to unless um, unless it was uh, me. I don't Alephant. know. Oh, Steve, stream bros. Wait, Iron Condor? Who is that? Iron Condor Simulations. Who the heck is this? Oh man, my network crashed. I mean, if you do want me to raid this guy, you know, since I don't follow him, you gotta do the whole guide the raid thing. Oh, it's followers only chat. That's already a no. 
I'm gonna be honest, it's already a no. Followers only equals, you know, I'm leaving already. I'm already gone. I'm not even gonna follow. That's just kind of how it works. Oh, Skyman <laughs> OnlyFans command. <laughs> anyway, I think one of you guys said Skyman. He was like the first one to say it, so we'll go over and raid, uh, raid, raid him. So hit the follow button here, hit the follow button on Sky Stream. Stick around for the raid, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for a bit of Minecraft Monday.